Hi everyone, I wanted to share a mini star book that I've been working on and just finished today. So this is the cover of the book and I used Stampin' Up! cardstock for most of this and I also used a linen effect card for this piece on the cover and for the pages that are stamped on in the centre as well. And it's been glimmer misted with vanilla breeze. This is the chocolate chip cardstock. Um, with just a bit of the vanilla breeze over it and then on the linen um, effect card which was it was just this here which is a, a creamy card stock I know it doesn't really pick up the linen effect there or you can see it a little bit on that side um, but it was it was cream to begin with and what I did with this I took um, close to cocoa um, and lightly sponged it around leaving a, a lighter area in the centre and then I used the chocolate chip around the outside and then I used the Tim Holtz distress tool on the edges and then inked the edges with stays on timber brown which is the same colour that I stamped on and the stamp there is the Tim Holtz stamp which looks like the old vintage lace so it's quite distressed looking and then I put two little butterfly charms on and a sentiment and some of the Prima pearls as well and then the book is just fastened with a, a piece of ribbon and then when you open it up all the pages are the same kind of colours and theme all the way through um, so again I started with the linen effect card here and used the um, Stampin' Up! inks in Close to Cocoa and Chocolate Chip and then stamped over it this is a Prima stamp, this border stamp here um, in stays on timber brown and the little speckles um, they're stamping up um, and I just added those as well and the same little sentiments are on every page like the front cover one and some vintage images as well so this one had a mother and daughter um, which looked like they were doing some kind of sewing activity so I used some of these little tiny buttons from Hero Arts to embellish it and then there's some more of the Prima Pearls there and each page has also got the um, glimmer mist in vanilla breeze which is the same which is on the back there and there is a little bit on the front but you can't see it very well and then there's the same lace trim as well on every page so then the next page again another vintage image and the same colours of inks and glimmer mist and this time the stamp is another Prima stamp but it says script this time and there's some little accent beads in gold there, I don't know if you can see those too well and there's a little timepiece um, which I coloured slightly sort of to give a tarnished gold look with the timber brown ink and then added some little wings on there in gold and another sentiment and the lace obviously at the bottom the next one here, same format um, the stamp here is Prima again, one of the new ones and this time I've got um, some little Prima flowers that I've painted with cosmic shimmers so they're really shiny and glimmery and then there's some bling in the centre of that one this one I really like this image um, vintage children standing together so I thought friends for life was quite an appropriate little sentiment to write on there and Prima stamp again in the background for the swirls and then this little butterfly that I found um, a collage image and I put some copper stickles just on the edge of the butterfly for that one and this one I used um, a Prima stamp again one of the new 2010 um, stamps so it's a little damask and I matched up the flowers um, with the flowers she's holding and the flowers in her hair so I tried to get flowers that were the same same shape so these are from Prima and they're painted with the Cosmic Shimmer watercolour paints and they have a little flat back pearl in the centre and again the little sentiment and the lace so that's my book and if you've not seen a star book before the reason they get the name is what you're supposed to do with them is to put them all the way around so that they form this kind of star shape and then you can display the pages like that just sort of on a work surface or wherever you want to put it and then of course you can tie it together with the ends of your ribbon there um, 
and just in case anybody's interested in the the sizes of the paper I did say I'd use Stampin' Up! cardstock so that's the chocolate chip there and then if you look at the pages individually if you've not seen these books before you'll see you've got your page that you stamp on and then you've got one that's slightly bigger um, which I use close to cocoa and then you've got one that's even bigger so you get this um, effect with the, the little gap between your pages but they're all matched up um, there so how you achieve that I've got three pages here okay you'd need to cut yourself five of these so there's if you look at the book there's um, sorry one two three four five and they're all cut at the same same height but if you just look at the edges there there's on mine there is a half centimeter difference um, obviously if you don't work in centimeters if you work in inches then probably a quarter inch difference would be enough and all you would do is line up the two edges so instead of if they were flat you'd have that little half centimeter left over or quarter inch however you work in it you line them up like that and adhere just the the very ends so you get that effect and then obviously you've got your front piece that you would stamp on and that would be lined up again and then you get the the little tiered effect down there and it still shuts flat um, so the measure, measurements that I used um, the larger page was 5 centimeters by 9 and obviously this one is 5 centimeters again but half an inch off so that is 5 by 8.5 and, and this one is 5 by 8 and if you were working in inches that transpires approximately at um, 2 by 3 sorry 2 by 3.5 2 by 3 and a quarter and 2 by 3 approximately obviously you can use whatever sizes you want but if you wanted to make one that there was a little tiny book like this um, those measurements work quite well so thanks for watching um, leave me a comment if you've got any questions and I do hope that people try this out if they haven't before they're quite fun little books to make and really good for gifts so bye